uplifting story. Somehow resilience and hope best represent the journey of one female student from Moranga University of Technology is doing that would likely be shunned by her peers. From Mary Kenodia, a fourth year student pursuing criminology and security studies, her goal is to ensure she gets the education she desires as she juggles school and working as a night guard to fulfill her dreams. Bright and early, Mary Kinuthia makes her way to Moranga University of Technology, all set for class. It isn't really apparent for her colleagues or teachers what she goes through to realize her criminology and security studies. I don't have a social life uh, because uh, my, my schedule is quite tight. Work, um, I operate between work, classes, and uh, side hustles. So when I don't have uh, classes during the day, I kufua, kuna watu na fulianga. Uh, nalipua maybe 300 uh, when still sina clients uh, who are now my plot she had also been operating a small cosmetic and jewelry business around school and she had a booming clientele as she was selling to her fellow students but it took a different trajectory following the outbreak of COVID-19 the schools were closed so I decided uh, to, to join security firms for to sustain my uh, to sustain myself, but uh, when the schools opened, I I opted to shift at night so that I could do my classes during the day. After a day spent in class, she gets ready to work the night shift as a night guard stationed at Moranga Level Five General Hospital. When she can at work, she tries to revise what she has learned using her phone. We have notes. Uh, Kwasimo PDF. So Wakati it's not quite busy. That's when you sit with your phone on a study. She pushes on hopeful that the future will be bright. She also encourages her age mates not to lose hope but to use their time wisely. You don't have to entirely depend on your parents. You can do some yeah, this they call odd jobs, but so long as you you are earning genuinely, I'd advise that you go for it instead of depending on other sources that might end up hurting or destroying your life. After graduation, she hopes to join an investigative agency to help her parents educate her younger siblings. Helen Aura, NTV.